I now call to order the first meeting of the Jacksonville Youth Council for the school year. Greetings to all, including those who are watching via TV. We're here in the same chambers that the Jacksonville City Council meets in. The City Planning Board and other official bodies meet here also. We're proud to be a part of the official voice for youth in the City of Jacksonville, and we take that responsibility seriously. Now, let's begin our meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Cameron Chapton, and we ask that you continue to stand after the pledge for our invocation, also led by Shania. Okay, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. <laughs> All right. So, One City, Our City, My City. The purpose of One City, Our City, My City is as we have our Jacksonville Youth Council meetings, we want to identify any positive activities that you've seen around the school or within the neighborhood. And it could also be, let's say, White Oak High School had an awesome when in football season. You might have took a picture of White Oak High School having a football season. Or let's say there was a food drive that Onzo Early College put on. Or there was a clothing drive Jacksonville High School put on. Anything that you see that is an opportunity for them to take care of the community and you want to highlight either your particular school or another school or something in the community. Or Maybe you're part of a, another organization and you've done something in the community as well too. That could be an opportunity for you to highlight your organization that you're a part of, whether it's Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, um, a youth group, uh, volunteer activity, anything that you see that is helping each other out. That's an opportunity that we want to highlight in our One City, Our City, My City moment. Okay. I want to welcome you to this first meeting of the school year for the Jacksonville Youth Council. This is a council that governs itself, decides what actions we would like to engage in, and offers advice for the elected op officials of Jacksonville. Whether this is your first time or you've been a part of the Youth Council for years, you are welcome here. No matter whether this is your fourth year of participation or your first ever meeting, each of us who participate today are equally important. For those of us who have been privileged to be elected to lead this group, we'll introduce ourselves as we speak. Be sure with us if you have ideas, questions, or just want to talk about the Youth Council. As indicated, this council is open to all high school students in Onslow County and Camp Lejeune who are in good standing and all are welcomed here. Thank you for coming and let's hope for a great year to help guide us, let me introduce all the officers currently elected for the Youth, youth Council. We currently have two vacant seats, Jacksonville High Seat and at Large Seat. Anaya Ward, Chairman, Onso Early College High School. Shania Nolan, Vice Chairman, Jacksonville High. Riley Hayes, Secretary, White Oak High School. Dakota Evans, Recorder, Jacksonville High School, Cameron Tafton, Executive Committee, White Oak High School seat, White Oak High School, vacant. Brianna Hopps, Executive Committee, Northside High School seat. Gabriel, Executive Committee at large seat. Conrad Burdett, Executive Committee at large seat. I want to introduce some other people who help these make youth council meetings possible. We do have help with our work and I want to introduce a few people. Tracy Jackson is the director of neighborhood improvement services, which oversees the youth council. Pamela Taf Trafton is a staff liaison of the Jacksonville youth council. 
and the Senior Neighborhood Improvement Services Coordinator with the City of Jacksonville and works with the Youth, the youth Council in preparation for meetings, events, and activities. In addition, Pamela welcomes you to contact her with any comment, suggestion, or question. 910-938-6551. Thank you. So what we'll do before we'll move on is our officers will go through real quick, introduce yourself, say your school. So first name, last name. So we'll start here on the end. Uh, hello, my name is Connor Bidette. This thing okay, I just, uh, I'm at the Anza Early College High School, grade nine freshman. And one thing I would like the council to know would be, you know, it's a good question, but I'm here to help like out. To do or you're part of. I'm here to help out the community. Here to help out the community. And say your name again. So you're speaking into the mic. Uh, Conrad Burnett. All right. Uh, my name is Riley Hayes. I'm in the ninth grade, currently enrolled at White Oak High School. I am the secretary of the Jacksonville Youth Council. And one thing about myself is that I'm very creative. I like art. Okay. Hi, my name is Shania Nolan. I am the vice chairman. I am a 10th grader at Jacksonville High School. Um, one thing I want you to know about me is I am a very, um, I'm a very hearing person. I'll hear all of your creative ideas. All right, awesome. Hi, my name is Anaya Ward. I'm a sophomore at the Anza Early College High School. And one thing I would like for you to know about me is that I am usually always available, whether you call, text, or email me, and I'm happy to help in any way that I can. Hi, my name is Dakota Evans. I'm a sophomore at Jacksonville High School. I'm the recorder. Something about me is that I'm more of an observer than a talker. Okay. Hi, my name is Brianna Hoppus. I go to Northside High School. I'm a junior in high school. And one thing about me is that I'm in JROTC. Hello, my name is Gabriel Flores. I'm currently enrolled in Lejeune High School. I'm a sophomore, 10th grade. Um, one interesting thing about me is um, I'm very athletic and a future career I want to go into is law, or I want to be a lawyer. Good evening, my name is uh, Cameron Trafton. Uh, I'm a sophomore at White Oak High School. Um, excuse me. And um, one thing about me is I like to have fun. Uh, again, my name is Pamela Trafton. I'm the staff liaison for Jacksonville Youth Council. And one interesting fact about me is I am a graduate of Fayetteville State University. Go Broncos! All right. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, I'm a Dejuan Ochipolo. I am helping out all around. Just finished, just finished college at UNC. <laughs> And one interesting, interesting thing about me is I am terrible at basketball. It's absolutely atrocious. <laughs> All right. So, Ms. Shania, we're going to have you read that second bullet. Okay. Oh. On page three. So, we're going to go back onto the agenda now. To... Okay. So you're going to have to speak out a little bit louder. We would like to see our future before we do. We'd like to give you a quick uh, overview of that of our youth council, what, we, what it has done in the past, and then offer a personal perspective of how JYC has benefited us in the past few years. 
particularly for those who have not been there before, my fellow officers who will have this presentation, I will now introduce an I Award. The Jacksonville Youth Council came to be because youth asked for it. Some students were selected by their school to attend a community summit. They were asked to comment on various issues, and they came up with the idea that there should be a youth council. They go to the next board. Remember, read only the asterisk ones. <laughs> the city worked with the Onslow County School Board to make it happen. Mine doesn't have any more asterisks other than the first bullet point. You might ask what the Youth Council has done since 1998 when it met for the first time. It can generally be divided into these seven areas. One, practicing governance. Two, volunteering and helping charities. Three, learning about the community. Four, serving the community. Five, creating opportunities for high school students. Six, leadership development. And seven, connecting youth from different schools. So Riley, you got that first bullet point? Um, page three. Page four. Okay. You might ask what the youth council has done since night. Oh. Sorry. The practice of governing governance, how we operate in a democratic society is very important. The Youth Council is empowered to select our own leadership and decide how we want to do things. So in this picture particularly, this is where the officers have been sworn in by city council. And so you will actually become sworn in by the mayor at city council as well. And that will be your official taken position of the Jacksonville Youth Council. All right. So I'll give you the date. It's going to be later this month to see if you'll be able to be in attendance. And when you come, you can see how everyone is dressed. When you come business casual, official, you can do suit. I don't see anybody in a tie. Well, yep, you can do suit and tie. You can do suit, button down. But you want to come official dress. Your parents are invited to stand with you. So parents, be ready. <laughs> and then we'll meet right here in council chambers, okay? All right, Dakota. Another area the youth council has worked within the past is to help charities. Gabriel. Another area of activity has been to serve the community. Each year on the National Day of Service, MLK Day, we select a project to serve the community. We are open to ideas of what you may want to do this year. And this is a great opportunity to stop. Um, and let's do some crowd participation. All right. So this would be an opportunity for the community, our audience, our council members, to tell us what are some community service activities that you would like to see the Youth Council do this year? What are some things that you've done in the past that have been fun, that have been beneficial to um, participate in? And in that way, the officers can put together a calendar of uh, dates that will be able to do activities. So if there's something that is like, oh, we need to do this, what you want to do is come to the lectern. You say your first name, last name, or you can say your first name, and then what school you attend. All right. So we can do a trial run. All right. Who would like to go first and say, what is something that you would like the Youth Council to do in the new year when it comes to community service or volunteer activities? That's probably a tough one to ask on the first one because it's thinking. Okay, let's do this so you can get a practice. <coughs> What's popular right now? What does everybody talk about now? No idea. What do y'all like to talk about? Possibly social media influences. Social media? 
Okay, so mm -hmm. let's do this. Come up to the lectern. Tell us your name and which social media app do you use a lot? All right. So it'd be real quick, just say your name and what social media app do you use? Hello, my name is Jay Sanchez Collins. I attend the Onsler Early College and I use YouTube and Tumblr the most. YouTube and Tumblr. All right. My name is Caitlin, and I go to White Oak, and I use TikTok. TikTok, okay. Uh, my name is Caleb Ingram, and I use YouTube. YouTube, all right. My name is Patricia Myrick, and I would probably say that I use Pinterest the most. Pinterest, ooh. That's good. That's good. My name is Benson Carter. I go to Onso Early College, and I mostly just use YouTube, but I widely hate social media, so I just usually watch videos. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, my name is Maria McDonald. I attend Onsel Early College, and I probably use Instagram the most. Instagram, okay. Um, my name is Olivia Borge. I attend the Onsel Early College, and I use Pinterest the most. Pinterest. All right. That's very interesting. Officers, which ones would you say that you use the most? I use TikTok the most. Probably TikTok. 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 Yeah. YouTube. YouTube? I'd probably say TikTok and uh, YouTube. TikTok and YouTube? Mine would be TikTok, Snap, and Insta. TikTok, Snap, Insta? Okay. Mine would probably be TikTok the most and Facebook. TikTok, Facebook. Okay. Y'all have just told me something. If we got to recruit, we got to go to TikTok and YouTube. Yes, y'all have just told us where y'all are at. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to need a TikTok class. Not tonight, but we're going to need a TikTok class. No. Okay, not tonight, but we're going to need... <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, so we'll go ahead. <laughs> Um, next, Cameron. <laughs> the youth council told the elected leaders of Jacksonville that a youth center would be beneficial, help focus attention on youth, and serve for, and serve forever as a demonstration that this community cares about its youth. Who knows where the youth center is? All right, got one hand. Two hands, maybe. All right. So where's the youth center at? That way. <laughs> so the youth center, right now Newbury Street is currently under construction. But right across the street is our youth center building. So our meetings will either be here, um, depending on the activities. Like in this example, they had Walter B. Jones. Would you like to speak about that? Uh, yeah, sure. So we got our congressman to come down and talk to us for a few minutes. That was really cool. I think his office, different congressman now, but he, his office has an office in the city hall now. So it would probably be easier to set it up now if he doesn't do it again. Um, but yeah, we met in the youth center across the street. And we used the space quite a bit for a range of stuff from harmony meetings to more relaxed, fun stuff too. But yeah, we used the space a lot. Yeah, because like as we said, this is council chambers, so there's a certain decor that's needed in this space. So when we want to kind of let loose, have fun, eat, drink, play games, we'll go to the youth center and do those activities there. And then that's where, no, you won't see a picture. Um, when we do our Christmas party, we do our senior send-off, we used to do movie nights. 
those type of activities as well, we'll do those in the youth center. All right. I think it's next is Ms. Brianna. The youth city, the youth council has served the committee by providing service and has helped charities in our community. Okay. Uh, we would, we would like all of Bonzo County eligible high school students to participate in not only our youth council meetings, but any event that takes place at the youth center. In order to do this, we need your help. All right. This is a picture of our Patriot Day ceremony that takes place on September 11th. Who knows the significance of September 11th? All right, come to the mic and tell us significant September 11th. September 11th would be considered a very important day, especially in American history due to the, the fact of, well, 9-11, but 9-11-2001 is when the World Trade Centers were hit by a terrorist attack. Yes, and how many have been to our uh, Memorial Gardens? All right, and that's actually Cameron doing, I think he's doing the Pledge of Allegiance there, or the prayer. <coughs> but who can see the beam behind him? Who knows where that beam came from? Okay, where did it come from? Yeah. Um, I believe that from what my dad told me and just like given the overall context, I believe that's like one of the beams of like the debris from the World Trade Center. It is. And the story um, and the history behind it is that the New York Fire, the New York Fire Police Department actually brought it down to us as being one of the first responders to the 9-11 um, day of events. So every year we do an observance ceremony and it's coming up on Monday, September 11th. Um, this is an opportunity for youth council members to come out and participate in the ceremony. So we have where you do a pledge of allegiance, we have a youth prayer, and then we also do ushers that are a part of the event as well. Everyone that's in attendance wears white top, black bottoms because the day is not about us. It's in remembrance of those who we lost during that occasion. So we are looking for volunteers that are going to be available on 9-11. If you are able to drive yourself and handle transportation, then let me know. I'll give you the permission slips. I'll email that to you. If you need transportation, White Oak High School, their course in Jacksonville High School, the orchestra are participating. So that way you may be able to ride the bus with them. But we start the ceremony exactly starting about eight o'clock. So we'll be in attendance about 7.30 to be prepared for it to start. So that's gonna take place on this Monday. All right. All right, so this is an example of where Cameron was talking about the youth center and activities. So as you notice, everyone is eating away. <laughs> A chance to just kind of have fun, get to know each other. And then in our closing, Miss Anaya, um, we miss one, it's our harmony. So Shania, do I have that one marked? Do you see where it says other opportunities on page seven? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Go ahead and do the um, second bullet point. And in this project, youth, youth lead groups are able to apply for funding and assistance to create youth direct projects that address community issues and challenges, challenges in this region. Okay, so this one is a huge opportunity for all our youth organizations. Harmony is an opportunity for other youth organizations that put on events, put on programs, 
or maybe they have a program that helps other youth in the community, they can apply for grant funds through our program, Harmony, and then Harmony is a separate board from the Youth Council. So the Harmony Board, they meet together, they talk about uh, what does it mean to be able to give out grant funds. They actually put together an application that they pass out in the community. And then the board members will decide which organizations are funded. And then they get a check to be able to take care of whatever needs to be done for their community. So let's say um, they'll get their award check in March. There could be a youth organization that's hosting a back to school event or a tutoring session or anything that is gonna help other youth. And it could be K through 12 ages but they need additional dollars to do whatever they need to do, Harmony is going to ask, they're going to ask Harmony for those funds. And so everyone has an opportunity to come out September 21st and be able to hear about the program and decide if you like to be a part of the board as well. Okay? And we're going to meet right in here on September 21st. <laughs> All right, so this is on you, Mr. Naya. Okay. <coughs> Listed in your agenda are the next meetings. We also have these special sheets that are available on your way out to remember the dates and for you to pass out to give to your friends who are not here. If you have ideas, talk with us. For you here in the council chambers, all the officers are wearing these shirts and we're wearing our name tags to talk to any of one of us. Yeah. If you, if you want to run for office, talk with us some more. Uh, okay. Remember, we will be having an election for the open seats at our third meeting in another chamber, and another coming up in the spring. We also meet at City Hall or at the Youth Center. Any changes will be announced ahead of time. Thanks to everyone for coming and for those who have been watching from home. I now declare our meeting adjourned. <laughs>